The R1S is a new full-size electric SUV from Rivian. Is this new company capable of producing a vehicle that can withstand some of the most demanding crash tests in the world? Let's find out. From protecting rear seat passengers to headlight performance, we'll break down everything you need to know to determine if this vehicle is the smart choice for you and your family. First up is the small overlap crash test. This evaluation replicates what would happen in a front corner collision with either another vehicle or a fixed object, such as a tree. In this test, only 25% of the vehicle's width strikes the barrier, which concentrates the force in a small area. As we saw in the last video about the Tesla Model Y, Rivian employs a strategy where the vehicle is designed to deflect the crash forces. This results in very little structural intrusion and lower forces exerted on the occupants. Dummy movement is calm and controlled. Unfortunately, the Rivian didn't do as well in the updated moderate overlap crash test. This evaluation features a crash test dummy in the rear seat, which is useful in understanding how rear seat passengers will be protected in a frontal collision. The results from this test show that, in the Rivian, rear seat passengers are not as well protected as front seat occupants. The most concerning incident was that the lap portion of the seatbelt shifted from the pelvis, where it should remain throughout the crash, to the abdomen. This increases the risk for uncontrolled movement and abdominal injuries. Sensors from the rear dummy also signal a moderate risk of injury to the chest. The rear passenger dummy's head also approached the seat back, but ultimately avoided making contact. Next up is the updated side impact test. This evaluation simulates what would happen if the R1S was struck by a 4,200 pound SUV at 37 miles per hour. The Rivian was hardly phased by this test. The structure had almost no intrusion. The space between the seat centerline and B pillar comes in at an extremely generous 35 centimeters. Let's examine the technologies that can help avoid collisions. The automatic emergency braking system, which employs radar and other sensors, autonomously applies the brakes when a collision is about to occur. The Rivian system underwent testing at speeds of 12 and 25 miles per hour, and in both instances, the vehicle completely avoided a collision. Let's now evaluate the performance of the headlights, as they play a crucial role in reducing the extra hazards that driving at night can pose. Only one type of headlights is available on the R1S, and it performs well. The low beams had sufficient visibility on the straightaway and right curves, however they fell short on the left curves. These limitations on the left curves are partially mitigated by automatic high beams. The high beams had good performance in all scenarios. Overall, the Rivian performed well in most tests. However, as we saw in the updated moderate overlap crash test, there is room for improvement in rear seat protection. Hopefully Rivian makes some design changes for rear seat passengers. If you found this interesting, please subscribe to see more captivating videos about auto safety.